Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I've had a lot of people requesting for this, uh, which is uh, gift cards to friends on PC. I would say that every other video that you see on YouTube would be on console. So I guess this is a first on PC. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the initial glitch out method, which happens to be the latest one that is being circulated around YouTube. So the credit for this glitch out method is not to me, but it's to all the console YouTubers out there who had discovered this. So we're going to start this glitch out from the arena, preferably from the workshop level. And what you will need here is a car or a vehicle from the Tuner's DLC. So it can be a Calico, it can be a Jester, it can be a Remus or even the Warner HK, as long as it's a Tuner vehicle. So what I'm going to use today is the Warner. I believe it should also work if you have this vehicle in B1 or B2. But I would recommend for the time being to use the workshop level to ensure that it works. So all you have to do is to first drive it out and go all the way to the LS car meet. Now just a reminder, this glitch out method will work for console and also for PC. But what follows after that is only for the PC because PC saves differently. So once you're at the LS car meet, just drive in and the game should park your car in a spot. So what you want to do now is to get back into your tuner vehicle and do whatever you need to access the test track. Now going into the test track, you can either go in alone or go with other players, it doesn't matter. Now once you have done that, just turn your vehicle and face the ramp that is leading out and you request a job from Simeon, Gerald or even Martin. This is actually needed for the glitch out and you will see in a second what it actually does. So just call them up and request for a job and they will send one to your phone in a matter of like 5-6 to six seconds. Now while we wait, do drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content and also to get notified when I drop new videos. Your support has been amazing so far so I hope that you continue to do so. And of course keep those comments coming. Now we can see that uh, Simeon has given us a job. So just open up your phone, go to your job list and then press enter on the job again and just leave it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to approach the ramp and just when your car stops or freezes, you will press enter to accept the job. So if you've done that correctly, your screen should be flashing in the background while the Simeon job screen comes up. Just let it flash about 4 to 5 times and then you can press escape to quit this job. What will happen is that you will spawn back into the LS car meet and you will not have your map available. So this is the first indicator that you are going to glitch out but we're not done yet. So over here, you can go look around for your car so that you can drive it out or you can just exit the LS car meet on foot and then call out the vehicle when you're outside. So I'm just choosing to go over to my car and I'm going to drive it out. You may encounter sometimes that the game will lock you out of the vehicle and that you cannot go inside your car. If that happens, just walk out on foot and call the vehicle when you're outside using the interaction menu. So what you have to do now is to make your way to the arena and drive it into the workshop level because that was where you actually drove it out from. So at the arena, it doesn't matter which uh, entrance that you choose, they all work the same, but you must choose the arena workshop if you actually drove it out from there. Now what happens next is that you will get this flashing screen. Just let it flash 3-4 to four times and then press F to exit your vehicle and you will be spawned right outside and you may see your vehicle being driven by an invisible person moving away from the arena. Now by this time, you should already be glitched out, but there's one way to check. Open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, and call out your RC Bandito or RC Tank. But not the drone, please. Uh, this is a mistake that I made. It's not the drone. I'm just going to take it out. So once you've called the RC Bandito, and it spawns on the map. All you have to do here is to just press F to exit and go back to your character. Now, if your character spawns back into the session like this, when it's flashing, it means you are already in a glitch state. And so right now you are successfully glitched out and you are ready for GCTF. So I'm just going to drive to the common GCTF point where everyone does their GCTF. But for console players, any steps described after this will not get the desired results simply because these steps will be for the PC. So once you have arrived at this point, it is time to actually call in your friend. So you can invite your friend to join your session or if you are in a public session, your friend can actually join you right now 
as your friend will be helping you and also providing you a car for this glitch. So here I am again all glitched out with my friend right over there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to glitch on a hidden livery on the S2 Comet. So I've called out the S2 Comet and I'm going to place it right here. And what I'm going to do is to actually use my friend's car to glitch on livery number 16, which should give the S2 Comet the Republican Ranger livery. One thing you need to note here, in order to not get dupe detected or get a dirty plate, your friend who's providing the vehicle for you to glitch on should use a custom plate that you already have. This is very, very important. So the next step is to come to this location and call out your MOC using the interaction menu. Once you've called it out, just wait about 10 seconds for it to arrive before you actually turn around and take a look at it. Before we continue, I would like to give credit to Koka and Michi from my Discord server as they had helped me a lot to understand what this glitch can do. And as you can see, my MOC has already arrived. So the next thing to do is to get inside your car and then ask your friend to get into the passenger side and your friend should go into the pause menu and stay there. And you will need your friend to do that simply because you want your friend kicked out when you are accessing the MOC. So drive towards the back of your MOC and then move towards the blue circle. So once you are near or at the blue circle, you will receive a message to press E to enter. And when you do that, if your friend is still in the pause menu, your friend will get kicked out like this. And all you have to do is to back the vehicle away and then get out of it. So what you're going to do next is to press Alt and mouse up to try to go to story mode and then decline the alert. So once that is done, approach the back of the MOC and then choose enter alone. You will then be put into a black screen and in this black screen, what you will need to try to do is to press Alt and then up or right to try to get yourself into that story mode menu again. It may take you several tries, but it will eventually happen. So as you can see now, I'm still in this black screen and I'm still trying to get into the story mode menu. So it's just a matter of time. And once you get this alert, you will have to press escape to decline it and you will spawn you on the map invisible. So what you want to do now is to run towards your friend's car and press F to get in. That will magically put you and the car into your MOC. So what your friend should do now is to return her personal vehicle to storage so that when you drive out this vehicle, there will not be two similar cars with the same license plate on the map. So after your friend has done that, what you can do is to get into the car and then exit the MOC. So here I am with the car outside the MOC. If the car does not spawn outside with you, what you can do is to go into the interaction menu and call out the vehicle using MOC services. Now the next thing you want to do is to drive the car to LS Customs so that you can use this vehicle to glitch on livery to your car. So the Republican Rangers livery is actually number 16 on the S2 Comet. So now that I am on the BF Weevil, I will also go to the livery section and I will choose number 16. There are also other liveries from 12 to 15 and you can choose them as well. Right now, if you actually try to buy performance mods over here, they will also transfer to the S2 Comet. One thing I want you to know that the S2 Comet does not support stock wheel colors. So even if you buy a wheel color over here, it will not reflect on the stock wheels of the S2 Comet. And one last thing before you leave, you can also change your license plate here if you already have custom plates available. One thing I want to remind all of you is that when you were invisible, during that phase, it only lasts between 30 to 50 seconds. So when you are already invisible, you should not wait and you should not AFK. You should get into the car immediately. So once you're done all that, feel free to exit LS Customs as the glitch is sort of done. So what we have done here is to actually put on a hidden livery on the S2 Comet, but you cannot see that yet because you will have to first go into creator mode and then back into an invite only session or a public session so that the vehicle will revert back to the S2 Comet with the transferred livery. So once you have spawned back into session, you should see your S2 Comet pretty much near you if you follow the exact steps. And you can also see that we have the hidden livery the Republican Ranger set already on the S2 Comet. You can also see that the S2 Comet has taken the license plate of the car which my friend has given to me. And that's all there is to this glitch. 
you can actually use this with the proper donor and target cars to actually put on liveries and i know that there are a lot of liveries which are locked for the tuner vehicles so this is one way to put them on thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video